Okay guys, so for today's little gold recovery experiment uh, I'm going to try and improve on the old gold separation bowl that I demonstrated in one of my videos uh, quite a long time ago and the bowl that I've, that I've used up to now which has been very successful is essentially just a blue plastic bowl with the upside down cone um, kind of uh, the it's just a funnel that's been cut off and then use some silicon to glue that to the to the bowl which obviously has a hole drilled through the bottom there and then I've got a little water inlet uh, nozzle on the side which is just a uh, 90 degree garden fitting kind of like this and this bowl has served me pretty well but um, always wondered whether it could be improved if you had the right technology and, and so forth and so this is going to be the um, the mark II attempt here and what we've got if I do a top view is you'll see the the new bowl is a little bit bigger diameter wise than the old bowl quite, quite a bit uh, which I think will help uh, when you're putting a lot of material in give it more space to spread out uh, but really the big change with the new system here is going to be uh, having bought a 3D printer and designed up some different uh, parts for this bowl so we're going to give this a try so here is the first part that um, I'm going to that I, that I designed that I'm going to try and you'll see um, it's it's similar in size to the old similar in size to the old funnel there except on this one I've uh, designed it to have uh, a lip similar to what some of the other products that do this have and you'll see there are a couple of steps printed going up the funnel and also because of the way the 3d printer prints this it ends up with a bit of a rough surface which I think might actually help uh, keep some of the gold from uh, from escaping and then the next thing is on the inside I've basically made a funnel going down that also has a bunch of steps almost like a gold pan in the hopes that that will actually um, catch any gold that might make it over the top so obviously there's going to be, I've put some uh, mounting holes in the bottom of that so I'm going to be able to not just silicon it down but also use some screws to secure it in place and for the water inlet I've actually I've tried designing a few different uh, parts for the water inlet but none of them I felt were particularly successful uh, because what you really want is you want the water to come in through your inlet hole um, at, uh, tangential to the side of the um, of the bowl and, and cause a nice kind of circular flow and so I haven't really got anything better at this point than the standard 90 degree inlet so that's what we'll stick with for this experiment and what we'll quickly do is I'll just pop over to the 3D printer and I'll show you some more parts that I've got uh, printing at the moment okay so here we're at the 3D printer and you can see on this side of the bed here I've got a little um, just a little it's almost a piece of pipe that is printing there and the idea with that is uh, when you've got this sitting flush against the bottom you've got the cone sitting flush against the bottom of your uh, your big bowl the problem is that the water will sometimes run down the, the inside of the cone and along the bottom of the bowl and not land very nicely in the center of the bucket and so what I've got is when I design this there's a little bit of a step in there you'd be able to see so the little pipe that I'm printing will be about an inch high 30 I think it's actually 30 millimeters high and that will fit inside the inside the cone and stick out down the bottom of the bucket which will make all of the water land nicely in the bucket where I want it to be and the additional parts that I'm printing there are just a couple of um, leveling feet so up to now I've just been using uh, little rubber door stoppers uh, to level the bowl but I figured I might make some nice um, might make some nice uh, level adjusters just give me one millimeter steps that should should be doing a pretty good job so yeah that's um, I'm just gonna go assemble all that stuff now I think it should be pretty self-explanatory so I'm not gonna bore you of that and then later we'll be back to uh, give it a bit of a test and see if it's an improvement on the older one hey guys so I'm doing a bit of a cleanup here with the uh, 3d printed uh, gold separation bowl parts here you can see I've got the uh, cone glued in there and um, what I'm doing here is I'm just rerunning some material that I've already cleaned up before in the past 
and there is actually a little bit of gold uh, visible. I'll see if I um, like you would expect let's, let's figure out what I'm going to say here. Like you would expect there is a little bit of gold there on the trailing edges. I'm going to see if the, if the zoom is going to catch that anywhere. Oops, with all this light happening let me just see where I want to be. I want to be roughly there-ish and if we could get it to focus below the surface you will see that down in there there is a little bit of gold happening but what is actually relatively interesting is not so much the the gold that the bowl is just cleaning up normally but if you if I actually zoom in on those grooves inside for which I think what I'll do is I'll just get the camera in hand Oops. and it'd be nice if I could show you guys the sparkly bits Let me zoom out a bit there very hard to see with the camera but in those oh, how am I going to do this in each one of those things there are actually tiny little bits of gold and what I'll actually do is I'll see if I can get a picture of it and put the picture in after this so let's see if that works because I can't really manage to video it very well the gold is not showing up that well against the green here you can kind of see it down there in the, in the middle of the screen sorry about the light reflections and you can definitely see some of it like down there so it definitely appears to be working well with the 3d printed parts uh, but time will tell so I'll see if I can get a picture for you guys of the uh, sparkly bits on the okay guys so after running the uh, the new gold separation bowl the th with the 3d printed parts and and having a second cleanup of uh, all of the material that was in the waste bucket basically I have uh, ended up with a little bit of material in this uh, beaker. I'll just give it a swirl and then I might see if I can let you guys have a view of the bottom. I might even, might even see if we can make it show a bit of gold. Yeah, really hard to see. Um, there's, there's not very much gold in here so this is really a bit of a Good news, bad news scenario. Uh, yes, there is some gold, and what I'm going to do after this is I'll use a, I'll use my little microscope, this one, and I'll actually look at the through the bottom of the, um, I'll actually look through the bottom of the glass beaker, which I tried the other day, and that works pretty well. And I'll show you guys what the gold looks like in the bottom. So there definitely was some gold in that once previously processed material. But I'm happy to report that for the amount of the, the amount of grams that I got out the first time round, this is only going to be a fraction of a gram. So that's actually really good. It means that I didn't miss very much the first time round, and realistically, probably not worth processing the second time. But the good news in this scenario is that um, the new gold separation bowl captured all of this gold, which which suggests that it might be working slightly better than the old one. Or alternatively, I was just a little bit more patient with this than I was the first time round. It's also possible, but um, no reason not to keep on uh, going with the new bowl. If I think it was a little bit easier having the bigger bowl. Okay, so what I'll do now is I'll grab the microscope and we'll just have a look at that cone. Because I told you guys there was some sparkly bits on the inside of the cone that, that got trapped in those riffles. So we'll just have a look and see what that is. Um, hopefully we can, you know, if we see some gold there, well, that's that would probably be bad news because we don't really want gold ma making it over the cone. Um, yeah, so let's just have a look at that. Um, it's cool. I'll be back in a second. Okay, guys. So what we're looking at here on the left and the right is the is a close-up microscope view of the 3D printed cone. And as you can see in the middle is where we've got one of the little riffles that are that are on the inside of the cone. And um, nothing much exciting there. I, I thought it looked kind of shiny under the light. And, and as you can see, there are some small particles trapped in that, in that riffle. Um, but nothing that's screaming gold to me there, which is quite good. So that, that suggests that there's not actually that much gold 
uh, making it over the top of the of the cone, which is always a good thing. And um, something that is quite interesting is uh, where I'll just switch over to this side because this is probably more interesting to see. Let me find some shiny stuff for you guys. Right there is a little bond wire right in the middle of your screen. What we are actually looking at here is the um, the silicone that I used between the green bowl and the blue cone. And I just kind of uh, wiped it around the edges with my finger. And as you can see right there, we've, I've actually managed to, um, so the silicon is, is obviously not attached properly or it hasn't glued itself to the green bowl. And you can see there's actually some, um, a few gold particles. There's one little gold bond wire there that actually made its way into the, um, made its way under the silicon, which is, you know, not not much in the end. Let's see if we can see any more there. Uh, looks like there's actually just on the blue there. Let's see if I can um, Im improve the focus a little bit. Right there is a little in the middle of the picture. Is a little gold bond wire as well. Um, yeah, so that's that's quite interesting. What we'll have a look at now quickly is um i'll just see yes there's a few a, a bit of crap that made its way under the silicon so i should probably cut around the edge of the blue cone using a uh, scalpel and get rid of that silicone because obviously that's just uh, trapping some stuff underneath that i don't want okay so um yep we'll be back in a second okay guys so uh, what we're looking at here is a microscope view through the glass of the bottom of the beaker that is holding all the material that came from the gold separation bowl and you can see plenty lots and lots and lots of uh, gold bond wires this looks very impressive i think it doesn't really matter where i go if i go to one of the edges um, see the material changes a little bit so what's what's happening there is you're looking through you can see the stuff kind of moving a little bit that is because the beaker is actually filled with water still and I've just basically given it a swirl um, yeah so there is a bit of gold in this material um, in real terms it's not going to be very much uh, this is a it's not too bad so there's there's quite a bit here and um, this is obviously stuff that I've missed the first time around and so it is possible that the um, the gold bowl, the new gold bowl is actually performing better than my previous gold bowl, but it's it's very hard to say because I might also just have been a bit more patient because it's a new bowl. But uh, yeah, still very interesting to see. So um, yeah, hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video and um, yeah, keep on you know keep on keeping on. Let's make some gold in 2017. Cool. Thanks guys. Catch you later.